Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today, what do we have? We have a family farmhouse. Now, I did a few things quite differently than I usually do and we will go over those. So first of all, as you might be able to tell, this house is very long and very slender. Now, Usually when I build houses like this, I normally put a staircase on the each wing of the house. So on the east wing will have its own staircase and the west wing the same. So that your sims won't have to travel all across the house just to go upstairs. But in this case, this is different because the top floor is reserved only for the master suite. Initially, I was going to put two bedrooms there. But then I thought, you know, we don't have the need for that. This house already has five bedrooms. You know, it is a good sized house. Now, if you do want additional bedrooms, it's very easy to do that. You can, you know, split up upstairs and make extra bedrooms or downstairs um, next to like the bedroom wing of the house. Like there's an exit that goes to the garden that I put in a little you know, a little sitting slash reception room, you can also put it there. You know, if you do need extra bedrooms, you can do that without having to alter anything about the house or do, you know, extra roofing. So, you know, that is sorted. But like I said, it does have five bedrooms. Now upstairs, the master suite, it is very large. It has its own closet and its own bathroom. And then outside in the like the landing hall thing, uh, I've just put a few bookcases. Maybe uh, I think I put a few computers there just, you know, maybe like a, a um, improvised office kind of a space. Now, the bedrooms downstairs, four of them, right? So two are more like adult bedrooms, like, yeah, you know, more adult furnishing and stuff. And then you have two kids. I made one very pink bedroom and one more guided towards teens. So the very pink bedroom, what is funny about it is that the walls are actually white. The whole house has the same wall pattern, which is this, you know, it is a little bit of wood at the bottom and then it's white at the top. Uh, I actually do like this wallpaper quite a bit, but because I used pink lighting, it does look like everything is pink, which is kind of nice. And then the teen's bedroom, it is a bit messy. You have a lot of clutter items here and there, which I thought, you know, it's a little bit realistic. Uh, <laughs> so this here, I would call this a formal living room. Um, it doesn't have a TV or anything, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think it has a TV. It is just a sitting room. And then you have the great big family room, which is all in one space. You have a kitchen, a sitting room and a dining room. Now the kitchen, it has like a little kitchenette on the side where you do have you no know, breakfast bar. And then it has an island in the middle and it is a black kitchen, which is very nice. But to contrast it and not make it look very dark, I use like very bright green uh, leaf wallpaper for like the splashback and I love that wallpaper and I don't get to use it enough because I really really like it. I would actually like that in real life as well. But we'll put that in the background so you know it, do, it does give a bit of life to a black kitchen which is quite important. And this is it. This is the house. You've got loads of bathrooms everywhere. Um, and a lot of the bedrooms do have their own bathrooms. The teens boy or teens girl has a bathroom as well. So, you know, you don't have to share a bathroom with a messy teen, which is <laughs> quite good. Uh, and yeah, then in the garden, we have a huge vegetable patch where I put grapes. I put fruit trees. Uh, I put loads of stuff. I believe I put peppers. I'm not sure, but if your sim likes gardening and doing stuff like that, then this is perfect. In case, right, you do not want the hassle to have to garden or do, you know, hire a gardener or do anything like that. You can go ahead and delete those little plans 
and replace them, you know, still give him the same feel, replace them with uh, build by plants. So, you know, from the roses, like little flower patches, you can go ahead and do that because, you know, those don't need gardening and it will still look quite pretty. But, you know, if you do like gardening, then this is perfect. I also put a few flower arrangement tables, a beehive thing, and yeah, and it does have a pool. So uh, the pool, I colored it like a green water just to make it look like, you know, a bit of a more natural pool or salt water pool maybe, you know, because this is supposed to be a farmhouse. We don't want it to be very, you know, modern and industrial and yeah. And the bathrooms are quite large. And like I said, there's loads of them all over the house. And this is it. You know, I really like it. Um, this is vaguely, vaguely based on a TV show. Uh, I saw, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, no, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, but I saw, and the house, it is kind of like this, like very long and slender. And, you know, I thought I have never made a house like long slender where the upstairs was just the master suite so i wanted to try it out you know it's just a little very little change of concept but i do think it looks quite nice so do let me know in the comments if you like it please do give me any ideas by the way for tomorrow's video because i'm supposed to be uploading tomorrow morning and i haven't started on anything yet um, I have been having a bit of a dry spell, if you will. Um, I do have a great big list of houses that I want to build. I'm just missing a bit of, an, you know, inspiration. So do let me know. Uh, and, you know, hopefully I will have a video up tomorrow. If it's not, then it will be up sometime next week, I assume, or probably maybe not probably, but maybe on Sunday morning instead. So, you know, if you want to keep updated, you know, when I'm going to post or not, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. That's all linked on my channel as well. And of course, if you do want to download this or any other of my builds, you can look for me on the gallery using hashtag Sims Designs or hashtag Sims Designs YT. Do follow me on the gallery. We are almost reaching 1,500 followers on there. So come, come and join us. And yeah, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.